The following video contains foul language and potential viewpoints that may offend. If you are easily triggered, leave now. So here we are. New setup, new logo. Same old attitude. So buckle up, Buttercup. The Peacekeeper has a pretty straightforward statement to kick this one off. We get called fascists, alt right, and misogynists because we believe there are two biological reproductive genders. We are fascists because we believe in taking care of our citizens first. Climate deniers because we refuse to jump on board with unreliable technologies. Or more truthfully, just wanting the infrastructure in place beforehand. We are not misogynists, we have followed science throughout human history. Two biological genders. We know that this science is a fact, or no one would be here watching this. Biological males cannot get pregnant. Full stop. We are not alt-right. We use common sense. We're not jumping on the giant game of pretend that the left is promoting. We are not fascists or racists. We are pragmatic. There's only so many homes, so many jobs to go around. So do the fucking math. If the conservative-leaning able-minded thinkers in the world were to employ the tactics and dogma used by the left, it would be looked upon as a splintering of the country. An uprising of what the left likes to call maple maga. Hate speech, mis- or disinformation. Our present prime minister has taken all but utter delight in dividing this country, keeping us at each other's throats for his own personal gains. He has shown utter contempt for anyone refusing to fall into lockstep with his watered-down Great Reset. And we have fallen into the trap, allowing ourselves for far too long to be marginalized, to be called names, to be looked down upon by him and his elitist cadre. However, the silent majority, those he has spent years demonizing, are waking up and speaking up. The time of sitting back and waiting for it to pass is gone now. Not even a change in leadership will help the Liberals or NDP. Canadians can see it's not just the leaders, but the entire parties that need their own reset. You can call us what you fucking want. Make us the goddamn boogeyman of progressive values. I am now more than all right with that. Because you, Justin, have made a grave political error. You have taken our silence as weakness. As more of my countrymen speak out against you, that silence will become a roaring din. Many of us serve this country, putting ourselves either in harm's way or standing ready to do just that. My question is this. What have you done to serve this country, Justin? Peacekeeper. Over and out.